In this video, I'm going to be talking about my travel plans during this pandemic and what I'm doing in isolation. So by the time this video is out, I should have been in LA with my friend Sharon, Vivian, and Louis. And Sharon is like my best friend from my Hong Kong exchange. You've seen her in past videos if you haven't. I'll link them down below. We went to Seoul together and various other places like the Philippines. Louis. Louis is our friend that we met in Singapore and that's a cute story but that's another video and he's from Australia so he's gonna come all the way from Australia and he had a whole North American trip planned but with the virus none of this is happening unfortunately or none of that with him is happening and Vivian is Sharon's friend from Toronto that was gonna hang out with us because why not LA. I had this awesome video about a boat party I went to with the International Student Association in Hong Kong during my exchange last semester, but I just felt so bad editing that because it was taking time away from my mass that I'm donating to nurses at a nursery home and patients with COVID-19 at a local hospital. I felt bad, like not giving it enough time because I wanna get as many out as possible, as soon as possible so that they're ready because the hospital I was talking to, they're gonna have an increase very dramatically these next few weeks, of course. So I'm trying to get them ready and editing that video is gonna take way more time than me editing a sit down video talking about what's going on. If you want to write a note on the back of my mask, so this one, you probably can't see it because they're dark, but like you can see it when you're closer. This one says you are appreciated. And then this one's so cute. It's from Divya and it says, thank you for being a shining light in the world when your community needs you most. And these are right now going to the nurses at the nursery home, so that's why it says that. But oh my gosh, like <laughs> if you want to send a note or just write a short note to the nurses of your appreciation, just reminding them how important they are because right now, like oh, we need them. They're probably not at a great mental state like the rest of us because of all this craziness that's going on. So if you want to leave a note, Put in the comments or DM me on Instagram. If you leave it in the comments, a frontliner could happen to read it and then they'll know, but they also might not be the one that gets the mask. So I think it's better if you want to put it out there in the public for them to see so they are reminded of how much they are appreciated. My channel is mostly about travel, but I know how to sew because I used to really love fashion. Like the first time I did a study abroad was in Paris because I wanted to be in the fashion capital. And I even got to go to London and Paris Fashion Week, which was such a dream come true. If you want to see pictures of that, you can go through my Instagram and maybe follow me if you want to see how my online Zoom swim class is going. On my channel, I talk about how I change my style a little bit or pack certain things so that I can match the culture and fit in at different places that I'm traveling to. My Morocco and Seoul, South Korea videos are really good examples of that if you wanna see a little bit more of what my channel is like and a little bit more of just how I like to dress when I travel. I also am planning on putting out some videos about how to be flexible with minimal amounts of clothing or like just ways to adjust your clothing so that it looks different so you don't have to pack as much if you're into that. Make sure you subscribe so that I know that there are people that want that content. Right now, I'm staying inside. I don't know the last time I've left my house and it's making me a little crazy, but that's okay. My family is safe and I'm trying to keep it that way. And if everyone does their part, the numbers will get lower. The virus will stop spreading. People will recover, eventually the world will go back to normal, and then we can go out and travel again. Oh my gosh, I like this video if you are waiting for that day. <sighs> Y'all know I'm waiting. Please take this seriously. It's only gonna make it go by faster. If you don't, 
then you're just making the whole situation worse. It's not fair for anyone. I had to cancel my dream spring break because one, I didn't want to get the virus and then come back and then spread it. And like, yeah, Cancun didn't really have cases when I was going to go, but crowded places are a really big, an easy way for the virus to spread among a lot of people. Like a bunch of people from my school went to Cabo in Mexico as well. And then, they came back and they have coronavirus so I'm like mm. yeah you might have heard about it it was in a lot of news articles like New York Times wrote about it my school was the University of Texas at Austin and we have like 49 people that got coronavirus because they went to spring break in Mexico so I'm glad I dodged that bullet because even if I got it and like, yeah, maybe I wouldn't die, but those numbers have been increasing, so I could have, possibly. I didn't want to spread it to anyone, and at the time, I was volunteering weekly at this place with a lot of older people. And I wouldn't want to be the cause of them getting this virus. Another thing was that before we went, a lot of countries were closing their borders. And like some of the ones in Latin America weren't even letting people leave or letting people come in. So I was like, oh, like, what if that happens to Mexico? And then during the trip when we would have been there, they did. So I was like, wow, I'm so glad I canceled because I could have been stuck. And then also Cancun, the state Cancun is in, they shut down like bars and places with where people can gather because of the virus to prevent spreading it. So it's like, I wouldn't have even had fun. And I know someone that went there and then it literally shut down and like, what would have been the point of me going? So I'm glad I canceled that even though I had some resistance in my group, but it had to be done. Other than LA and Cancun, I had a trip planned in a few weeks to go to Montreal with Sharon and Louis because Louis would have been here on his whole North America trip and I mean like that's obviously not happening because they closed the Canada and US border so that was sad and we were supposed to see my friend Angel from our Hong Kong exchange and she's from Taiwan and she was like going on exchange at HEC Montreal which was it kind of the school I went to during my exchange in Paris because it was like HEC Paris, so cute. Ah. Um, but she also eventually had to go home to Taiwan because it was just safer to like be at home. I know so many people that were living abroad and then they just had to go home. Like not even study abroad, like they were living abroad for a couple of years and then they just went home. So it was, it's an intense time and not really the time to be away from your home country because you don't know how long these borders are going to be closed. There's just so much uncertainty going on right now and it's better to be where you're safe. I was supposed to go on a grad trip around South America this summer with my friend Stephanie to see some of our friends from our Paris exchange, but I don't know if that's happening anymore because I don't know when this is going to end. It's just not my time to explore my side of the world, apparently. But hopefully I have the time and chance to go later because I have a lot of airline credit. But at least I got to explore my country, which is huge. I have videos on Miami, Fort Lauderdale area, and Disney World, Florida, and a couple other places coming up, so make sure you hit the bell so that you know when those videos are out and join the fancy fam if you want videos on asia and australia to occupy your time at home